internet, my name is Lave. I hope you're staying safe and well. And yeah, it's been a while since I've stood here and talked to you about films that I've seen. I might have been procrastinating just a little bit, but then my channel has always been based on films that I've seen at the cinema and I haven't been able to go to the cinema for obvious reasons. I know streaming services have been releasing films here and there. None of them have really floated my boat. But then I realised, looking through my own Blu-ray collection, that I've got a ton of films in there that I've bought and never even seen. I mean, let me show you. And here they are. Now, I genuinely haven't seen any of these films and I really probably should have. There's quite a few really decent ones in here, I'm, I'm sure. So I'm going to put an end to that, starting with Embrace of the Serpent. So this one is directed by Colombian director Ciro Guerrera and follows two scientists slash explorers over two separate time periods as they travel through the Amazon looking for a sacred plant with supposed healing properties. So the director has been inspired by the travel diaries of real-life explorers Theodore Koch Grunberg, who travelled the Amazon in the early 1900s, and Richard Evan Schultz, who retraced his steps 30 or 40 years later. And the film seamlessly bounces between their two stories, telling them concurrently. And the actors playing Theo and Evan, as they are known respectively, are fantastic. Especially Jan Bijvar, who's gone full-on method. His character Theo has an ailment, and he really looks like a sick man so he's pretty desperate to find this plant which he hopes can cure him. Evan on the other hand is healthy but is also looking for the plant which he says is for scientific purposes. Now it's pretty clear that the director is really passionate about the travel diaries of these two individuals but what's really interesting about his approach to this film is that he's actually telling it from the perspective of a character called Kara Makate, an Amazonian who lives in isolation for reasons which we find out over the course of the film who assists these two explorers at different stages of his life so you get to see Karen Makate as a young man and as an old man and the actors playing Karen Makate the casting is is spot on like I totally believed this was the same person just at different ages his character goes on quite a journey both figuratively and literally and it's through him that the film's message emerges which I believe is a love letter to the Amazonian people and the Amazonian jungle their culture and their way of life there is a particular line in the film which I found especially potent, which is said by Kara Makate as they come across this church, this Christian church in the middle of the jungle, which has taken in these Amazonian kids. And he spends a bit of time with them, showing them his, his ways and methods and teaching them about plants and stuff. And he says to them to not let their song fade, which I think is what this film is is asking you to do, not let their song or their memory disappear. That particular scene and line of dialogue gathers more significance later on in the film in the second journey when they revisit places from the first and they witness the merging of cultures, ways of life, beliefs and religions brought about by colonialism. I couldn't help but think of Jeff Goldblum's line in Jurassic Park where his character Ian Malcolm says something along the lines of discovery is a violent and penetrative act that scars would have explorers and it's the rape of the natural world. But then I don't think this film is necessarily doing that. I actually think it gives quite a balance view. It's not saying that all white men are bad and all natives are good. For example, there's a scene where Theo loses some of his equipment and thinks that some of the tribesmen have got it and he tries to get it back and he argues that he wants it back because he doesn't want it to corrupt their their way of life and he turns to Karen McCarte and I totally thought that Karen McCarte was going to say yeah but then he turns around and says something along the lines of you can't stop them from learning. For now I don't want to spoil any other plot details so I'll move on to the cinematography which has been lensed by David Gallego and I believe all shot in location in the Colombian part of the Amazon rainforest which always makes a film feel more real and tangible to me and it looks really dangerous as well like these actors really looked like they were going in rough parts of the Amazon river. Obviously it's all shot in black and white too and it looks particularly good on my blu-ray on my big TV but I must admit there was a part of me that wanted to see a coloured version of it just to add to the vibrancy of the Amazon jungle but I totally understand why they did it this way because it, it somehow makes it feel more of the time 
And it also makes it timeless. I mean, this film is going to hold up for years to come. My only regret is that I didn't watch this one in the cinemas at the time of its release, but then I still enjoyed it, nevertheless, in the comfort of my own home. In general, I like films that make you feel like you've been on a journey at the end of it, both physically and spiritually, and, and this film definitely did that for me. So that's my thoughts on Embrace of the Serpent and pause the video if you want to take a closer look at my enjoyment tracker now. I've seen a few other critics draw parallels between this and Heart of Darkness, the inspiration behind Apocalypse Now, and I can totally see why it's a very apt description. I also got a 2001 Space Odyssey trippy vibe towards the end in a very specific scene, but nevertheless, this film is a unique uh, vision and completely stands on its own. You should definitely give it a watch. Unfortunately, it's not available on Netflix, but you can rent or buy it on Amazon Prime. Speaking of Netflix, the next review I'm gonna do is one of their original series. It's one that I should have done when it was released years ago. So keep an eye out for that by hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to share the lave. Thanks for watching all that stuff. I, I'm not used to this. It's been a while since I've done a review. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe.